Hi again! In the previous videos, we saw how to create a custom environment and we changed the location of our datasets so that we're using remote locations instead of using the files on disk. In this video, we're going to see how we can package our Kedro projects and this new configuration will be very useful. Here I have the documentation page on how to package a Kedro project. When we run the Kedro package commands, it will produce two files. On one hand, it will produce a Python wheel with the WHL extension, which is the standard format for distributing Python packages. There's also source distributions, but we're not getting into that distinction for now. And then it will also produce a target set that will contain all my configuration of the project. This follows the 12 factor app principle of separating the configuration from the code. But of course, when we want to run the project as an application, we will need to specify where the configuration lives. Let's go to my editor and see how it's done. I'm back to my Spaceflight project. This is where I left off before. And I'm going to run Kedro package to create the Python wheel with my source code and the configuration. However, we have to bear in mind that now that we're packaging our Kedro project, we need to be a little bit more mindful about dependencies. In particular, here I have my requirements.txt and this contains the dependencies that were automatically added when I first did the Kedro new, but I don't have some of the dependencies that I've needed along the way. In particular, S3FS to access the min.io buckets, Kedro datasets, and so on. So I'm going to declare them right here in requirements.txt so that when the package is created, then the user will automatically install all of them. So I'm going here to requirements.txt and I'm going to add Kedro datasets pandas and I will also add s3fs. Now if I do kedro package this will create the two files that I mentioned before. So on one hand the python wheel and on the other hand the target set with the configuration. Let's give this a couple of moments to finish. There we go. And if I list what's in the, this directory, I see these two files here. Now, to verify that this is completely self-contained, I'm going to create a brand new Conda environment so that I don't have any packages to start. And I'm going to move to a separate new directory. So let's do it. I'm going to change directory to my slash TMP. And I'm going to create a new subdirectory called Spaceflights Production. So I just created the directory, so it's empty. Now I'm going to deactivate the environment and I'm going to create a new one called spaceflights310-prod. This will also have Python 3.10, same as before. And for now, I'm not installing any more packages. Now, if I do activate Spaceflight 310 prod, you see that I don't even have Kedro here. Okay, I do need some dependencies though. So because of how my system works, I'm going to install some extra dependencies such as HDF5 and so on. I will need this to install the pandas datasets. And now I'm going to actually tell pip to install the package that I generated before. If I go to this, you see I can copy the path of my package. And I can give it to pip install. Kedro package took care of generating all the metadata files so that pip knows what to do with this. And now after a few seconds, this will install all the dependencies that we need and we will be ready to run our code. Okay, so now all my dependencies are installed. You can see here that I have pandas and also that I have my spaceflights code. We can locate that if we do pip list and scrolling up a little bit, you see I have my spaceflights package. 
But remember, I don't have any files in this directory. How am I supposed to run the Kedro project now? Well, I can do python -m spaceflights for that. This is a standard procedure when you install a Python package that defines an entry point. However, if I just do that and nothing else, Kedro will complain because the configuration was not given and there is no directory holding that configuration. So let's check that. There we go. We got what we expected. There's a missing config exception, which means that there's no directory holding this configuration. Now I can do two things. Remember that I have my config here in this start GZ. Well, I can extract that file right here so that I can use my configuration or I can even specify directly that I want to use this compressed file that contains everything that I need. So let's do that. First, let's do space flights and now I'm going to add conf source and I'm going to copy the path of this file and I'm going to paste it here. Now, remember that the default environment is local and my local configuration expects me to have my input data in data slash 01. But again, I don't have any of these files here, so this is failing. And now this is where the production environment that I defined before is useful because I don't need to copy my files to disk to start working. Given that I have my min.io server still running, I can repeat the same command as before, but specify that the environment that I want is the production one. So this is going to load the datasets from min.io and it's going to run all the pipelines, the same as before. And when this is over, we're going to see that I actually have now some information here. In fact, you see that we have our intermediate results, the two parquet files for the pre-processed companies and shuttles, and even the parquet file that will serve as the input for our model. At the same time, we also have some logs here that can be useful in case we need to debug something that went wrong. And that is it. We created a Kedro package for our project. We are using it from a brand new directory with a conda environment created from scratch and everything is working. So I'm ready to hand this to my users and help them run their Kedro pipelines from their systems. Now, in the next videos, we're going to see alternative ways in which you can deploy your Kedro projects in a very easy way.